be a failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. straight out from Nairobi but uh, you know traveling all across uh, uh, the continent and sure seeing all these micro businesses street vendors you know guys selling food on the um, what you call that um, people selling food on the on the street you know not just food items and all those things I don't get it why are we trying to ban this why are we trying to stop people from doing those businesses we have a bad habit of trying to copy what the West is doing or on the continent, not understanding the ecosystem. We have a different ecosystem, different culture, different demographics. I always and I keep saying is the biggest challenge that Africa is going to be facing and is facing now is, is social disparities, number one. But number two will be mostly uh, lack of jobs. And with a population that young, if we're trying to eliminate all the micro businesses, all the small hustle, instead of finding a way to control it and legalize it in a more, you know, organized way, we heading into a really, really big issue, man. And that's, that's what I, I, I don't get it. Why don't we come up with permits, for example? You know, organize them in association. What are they doing wrong? You know, uh, uh, structuring. Now, maybe you can talk about safety. Um, you know, that's a different topic, but eliminate is definitely not the, the way to go. You know, with people spending, I, I went through, uh, uh, I always, I always move with, uh, Bora Bora motos, you know, especially around this time, 5 PM plus that's the way I move. So I don't get it. You know, people spend three hours, four hours. I think if you're selling me food, you know, you save me time. You know, but, but the, the serious topic is eliminating those jobs is a social disaster. If we don't change our ways, a few things will happen. Number one, crime will increase dramatically. You can't kick out everybody that trying to make a living and expect uh, them just to sit and, and survive and, and uh, you know, not react to the to the situation you know because everybody got to live and i think one of the biggest challenges uh we need to come up with a with a structure and i know cooperative is a very interesting structure um there's so many ngos dealing with training helping uh people fighting poverty i think they, they need to help street vendors organize themselves uh come up as a group and uh you know bring them together also trying to figure out how they can uh, lobby the government to legalize some of the street vending business because that's that's what the biggest uh issue will will have to be solved uh the second thing is we need to look at the whole ecosystem you know as we know urbanization is 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 going to be a huge challenge but i truly believe that you can create economic opportunity outside main city uh, in the agricultural sector, in, in other, you know, what they call poor cities or cities with low, low uh, population, since a lot of the youth are, are moving toward the big cities and you allow more flexibility in those, uh, in those area. That will really be a game changer um, to minimize the influx of people coming into these cities and, and trying to you know, trying to find economic opportunities. I mean, it's not that complex. So the last point is, 
you know, and that's a personal point, actually. Well, most point is personal, but this one is, I, 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 I see this narrative about middle income. We're trying to target across Africa. It's middle income to get to this middle income access. The, we always talk about, you know, middle class, middle class, middle class. What about the base of the pyramid? Do we believe we're going to eliminate the base of the pyramid? It's not going to happen. There is not enough resources in this planet, you know, to eliminate uh, the BOP. And we're talking about how the middle class is growing. Well, the fact is the BOP is growing faster. With the population growth, you know, the middle class is around 10, 15 percent uh, uh, top. You know, it varies, you know, uh, depending on countries. We're talking about how the middle class is growing, but poverty is growing even faster. You know, but what do we need as people, man? What do you need? You need shelter. You need food. You need good education. You know, of course, you need water, clean water. Those are the things we need. You don't need a car. You know, you, you, you don't need all this luxury and TV and all those stuff that we're trying to bring. Um, I, I saw on the internet, I, I saw on the, actually on the internet, how we should make the internet uh, uh, a human right. How about water? You know, uh, how about food, access to quality food, not just regular food, not processed and, and full of chemical food, like green, you know, green food. How about making that a human right? That's a necessity. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm able to, to put those uh, vlog on the internet. I believe the internet is a game changer, but let's slow down and, and, and reevaluate the priorities of, of what we need to be, you know, focusing on because it doesn't make any sense, you know? And I think when you have the wrong target in life, then the strategy and execution to get there, you know, shift everything the opposite way. So that, that would be my, my three key points on, on this issue about street vendors and, and how to, um, how to, to change the game and, and improve the value chain of street vendors and of course the quality of life, but also, you know, avoiding all this, uh, or what we call uh, urbanization that is really going to be the biggest challenge. Uh, so that's my two cents, guys. Share what uh, some of the ideas you may have. And uh, let's try to make this uh, a reality in the next few decades.